Being able to plait your back hair is not normal. What you're seeing is fawn tail sign. It indicates that the spine hasn't zipped up properly in embryological development. We call that dysrhathism. There are three severities you need to know for your medical exam. Spina bifida is when the neural tube fails to close which happens around the fourth week of gestation. It's classically associated with folate deficiency, though the exact mechanism is unclear. Let's start off with the most severe form. By the way, if you want to master your OSCEs and your Vibers, you may be interested in my guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Comment OSCE for some free pages. A myelomeningocele is when the meninges and the spinal cord herniate through the defect. It can come with significant neurological impairment including motor or sensory deficits below the level of that lesion, as well as bladder or bowel dysfunction. One grade below is the meningocele. The meninges alone protrudes through the defect, forming a CSF-filled sac. But that spinal cord remains in place, so there doesn't tend to be any of these sensory motor defects. And lastly, the mildest form shown here is spina bifida occulta, where there's usually a small defect in the vertebral arches. It's typically asymptomatic and the only suggestion might be a dimple in the skin or a tuft of hair over the area. As always, let's help each other out by putting any high yield information you know about this condition in the comments below. And I've got another patient for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.